What's going on guys, the one and the only Water Cool Fool. Today we're going to be talking about the um, voltage increase via this guy right here, MSI Afterburner. So they are going to be <clears throat> some things you have to do. Um, one, download Notepad++, which I should have installed. Let me make sure. Yes, I do. So this is the guy... No, I don't want to update it. But this is the guy you want to download. And more or less, uh, you want to go to the file MSI Afterburner OEM2. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So pretty much what I do, I'll go right click and I'll do open up file location. And then you should see right here where it's highlighted in blue, MSI Afterburner dot OEM2 you're going to open up with this with notepad plus plus and here it's going to be a settings for a whole bunch of graphics cards so keep this open because you're going to definitely need it and I'm going to go scroll down all the way down right here so what you want to do and I'm not sure if the new MSI afterburner um, can allow you to overclock this voltage or not so I am just doing this as um, just in case deal so um, more or less what you're going to do is that you're going to have to get your info on your card here and to do that you just have to hit this guy right there and then so you'll see this Ven 10 dev all this crap right here so what you want to do is just copy this area right here and uh, from there you're gonna have to put some um, little wordings on it so what I like to do is go hit enter then I'm gonna do a um, pound sign or a number sign or hashtag and this and I would put 1080 uh, TI right there and what this pound sign does it basically says hey don't read me so you're commenting out the <clears throat> uh, this 1080 TI thing right here so what you're gonna do is highlight the dev subsys rev a1 bus like you're gonna highlight this guy right here this is pretty much what you're gonna need right here so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna copy this right there and it should be a question mark question mark if I remember correctly so let me find that real quick I've got a brain fart did that there it is so you do a question mark underneath there and then you'll do a V DDC right there and I'm gonna give a shout out on where I got this information from so let me open up the website and I'm just gonna do uh, overclock dot net uh, 1080 ti voltage increase and more or less this is going to tell you on how to get this working so what you're going to do is do the VDDC underscore generic underscore detection one and I accidentally clicked my steam thing cancel steam deal sorry about that so you're going to go here to your notepad plus plus and then you're gonna paste that there make sure you have the full thing VDDC underscore and I'm gonna make that caps and then after that you want to put these guys in a bracket so let me find bracket right there and then we're gonna put this in a bracket as well and then I'm going to see if I have this anywhere else. So I'm going to do a control C 
and then I'm going to do a control F and then control F is basically find and you do find next so this is the only one so this should work um, with your guys's BIOS and everything if you can't use your slider but pretty much you're doing the whole then all the way to where it says re and rev and then once you do and rev you do question mark question mark from there you'll hit save yes it's going to say save in administrator mode so we do save good to go good to go and then from here um, it should be able to slide it now if not um, if your MSI Afterburner doesn't support this yet, you can go ahead and do my little trick that I showed you. So you should be able to do that. So if you can't, do what I did because obviously this is working with the version of MSI Afterburner I have. You can go to settings and then from there you'll go to um, unlock voltage control, unlock voltage monitoring and you would select third party. So let's see if I do uh, standard MSI do yes let's see if that would work if this voltage so it will work uh, finally they got this working but just in case if you guys are using MSI afterburner that doesn't work you could do that so you can go to settings user mode and then we're going to go to third party and then hit OK hit yes and then voila you should be able to do this with no problem so hopefully that helps you out. I know it's like a real quick impromptu video. I don't know if this even is valid anymore, but I'm just showing you guys uh, what I do. So yeah, there it is. And speaking about NVIDIA, there is the CEO and founder right there. So hope you guys are having a great night. And as always, rate, comment, subscribe, click that like button. Make sure to click the bell icon to get up to date when I put out a new video. And you guys always have a great day now. Bye.